Well, I have a question for you. Could the foods you eat, like bananas and spinach, be making you fat? It may sound strange, but some of the healthy foods we eat every day can actually be making us gain weight. The problem happens when your body is intolerant to certain foods, and we are so excited to be kicking off a brand new segment here on Sonora Living Live called Living Well with Dr. Sam. Please welcome naturopathic medical doctor Sam Walters. He is the founder of Wellspring Clinic. So great to see you. Everybody knows you as Dr. Sam in yeah. the Valley, so I feel like I can call you that. Great yeah. to have you along. Oh, I'm excited to be here. Yes, and we're excited about what you're bringing <coughs> to uh, to the show when it comes to naturopathic medicine. And we hear the word, and we've heard it a lot lately, toxic food syndrome. What is that? Right, and it's so common. Matter of fact, everybody should have this test. It's, it's a test called the Alcat test. And what it does, it determines whether you have a sensitivity to certain foods, and according to the American uh, or the uh, uh, United States Department of Agriculture, 35 million people, and I think it's a very conservative number, have a sensitivity to the food. Let me tell you what they can do. We have an immune system, but it can be a two-edged sword. And any time you modulate up or you stimulate up that immune system, it's in a state of uh, fight. It wants to fight infection. So what happens, anyone has an autoimmune disease like a, uh, uh, Hashimoto's or rheumatoid arthritis or MS, any of those, you never want to stimulate up the immune system. You aggravate it. You throw fuel on the fire. Okay. So a lot of people right now, a uh, very high percent of the people are walking around fighting some kind of a sensitivity to the food where their immune system is really inflamed. So what that does, that causes an interference with the metabolism of the body. A lot of people fight obesity. They can't lose weight. They can't drop those pounds because they have a sensitivity to food. So what are the signs? The signs could be anything from seborrhea, psoriasis, ex eczema to all the arthritic conditions, uh, IBS. A Mayo Clinic says that one out of five people have IBS, and that is, I think, a very conservative number. And, and we, so much of that is from the foods. Right, and we brought some of those foods that we wouldn't think about as being, you know, giving us a, a, an intolerance. Yeah. Bananas, spinach, lemons, vanilla, those are some of the latest ones that are really rating high on this LCAT test. Absolutely, and you know, the reason I brought those particular foods this morning is because uh, just one of my recent patients turned out that she has a real sensitivity to uh, spinach, lemons, and bananas, and just taking her off of those or rotating those through her diet, she instantly has lost about five pounds, no more IBS, no more stomach problems. People don't realize how big a culprit that food can. You know, one of the old scriptures, one man's uh, meat can be another man's poison, and unfortunately, our food is really messed up today. So I wanna ask you a question. So say, for instance, I take this test, and you tell me, okay, Susan, you can't eat bananas. Well, I, or I'm in, let me rephrase that. I'm intolerant to bananas. Does that right. mean I can't ever eat them again? No, here's what happens. We'll let you have those, but we develop a four-day rotation diet where we can rotate rotate back in the bananas, but they can only go back in and be eaten with other foods. I, I use kind of a Missouri hillbilly uh, parable here. It's kind of like if you have a couple bullies on the, on the playground, you know, and you let them get together, they're going to wreak havoc. So what you do, you separate them. So you let them play with other milder people. So uh, what I'm saying is, you can have the bananas, but in our four-day rotation diet, we will let you eat it only with other foods that are not offensive, so you can ah, put it back that's in. That's smart, and you'll, oh, and you'll design that that diet for me? Yes, yes, and it's the, so neat. And the LCAT test, you will give it to us, and how many foods very quickly will you test? We can test you to as many as 200 foods. We subject it to over 400 different chemicals and foods and dyes and colorings and everything else that's in our food today. So you will test us for up to 200 foods, and we yes. will, of course, design, you will design something mm -hmm. special for us. Well, Dr. Thanks. Sam, we appreciate that, and we want to uh, tell you how you can get a hold of Dr. Sam if you would like to be tested for toxic food syndrome. Here is a special offer. Call today. You will receive half off a consultation exam with Dr. Sam. That is a $105 value. The regular price is $210. Wellspring Clinic is located at 8070 East Morgan Trail, Suite 200 in Scotts. 480-946-9222 is the phone number to call. You can also go online at wellspringclinic.com. And Wellspring Clinic did a drawing uh, during our show. And one lucky audience member, Carol Gross, congratulations. You are getting a free consultation. That includes a case history and an appointment. Wave your hand, Carol. Wave your hand. Wave your hand. There you are. All right.